together. So we have introductions, uh, project overview, project area, uh, frequently asked questions, and pretty much a timeline. So your project team is, I'm the project manager, Liam Conlon, my phone number is 817-392-6824, and it's liam.conlon at Fort Worth, Texas, which is all one word, dot gov. And our inspector is uh, John Robinson, who is on the call here also. And his number is 807-392-8452. And it's john.robinson at forwardtexas.gov. Uh, your project team includes the contractor, which is Surface Sea Construction. And uh, Keegan Yonkers is here. He's the superintendent, and he's on the call also. Our engineering design consultant, our RGN, and their representative project manager is Chris Brooks. Um, uh, why are we doing this project? Uh, Fort Worth prioritizes for facing water and sewer lines that have a high risk of failure. Uh, this is based on available data, which includes uh, water main break history and leak history. Uh, closed circuit television inspection, which is CCTV, the age of the line, pretty much the line material, and iron service lines and cast iron service lines. Uh, project overview the, in this case, the existing cast iron water main will be replaced, and the sanitary sewer main will be installed on the same street as Mockingbird Lane. And it's pretty much at the southern boundary of the Colonial Country Club. And actually, it's northwest of um, Texas Christian University. Uh, this capital improvement project is in the Fort Worth Council District number three. Who will be impacted? Um, construction will impact the Tanglewood and Colonial Hills Neighborhood Associations. And uh, the landmarks include the Colonial Country Club to the north and the MG Carter Stadium to the southeast. The project area um, a new 12 inch diameter water main will be installed in Mockingbird Lane from Simondale Drive westward to the end of Mockingbird Lane, which can be seen on the drawing. And also a new 30 inch diameter sewer main. Would be installed in Mockingbird Lane between Simon Dale and Arcwood Drive. And this is to alleviate some of your overflows that generally occur during uh, storm events. The impacted streets will include Mockingbird Lane from Simon Dale Drive to Mockingbird Lane intersection westwardly, uh, 1650 feet, and that's both water and sewer. Uh, Mockingbird Court from Mockingbird Lane to the cul de sac, which is water and sewer. And Hartford Drive from Mockingbird Lane, southerly 160 feet, which can also be seen on the exhibit that we have on the slide seven, page seven. Will special events be cancelled during construction? Uh, to accommodate special events in the area, construction will be intermittent in order to avoid. Traffic issues. Are we getting new curb and gutter? The city will replace a part of your driveway that is in, that's in the city right of way, which is referred to as the apron or driveway approach. Existing curb and gutter that has been removed as part of the construction will be replaced once the water and sanitary sewer mains are in place. And the service lines are connected to the new mains. Will there be lane closures during construction? One traffic lane will be closed on Mockingbird Lane and Mockingbird Court and Harwood Drive in the affected areas. The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., generally on Monday to Friday. And if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 5 slash 4 slash 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. Will our sewer service be interrupted? Sanitary sewer services will not be interrupted 
your sewer, your sewer bailouts will be installed at the property line. Sewer clean out provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the property line to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. <clears throat> You need access to your property? No, this construction is in the street. If for more water needs access to your property, you will be contacted. What happens if my property is damaged? Contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take pictures and video with a date stamp of their property prior to construction. Damage resulting from the contractor's activities during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. <clears throat> will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes and service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary line as shown in the drawing. And when the service is transferred from the temporary to the new line, these switchovers are done during the day. Contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes 30 minutes per house or business. <clears throat> will construction affect by an irrigation system? <clears throat> the contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. Contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation system so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. <clears throat> the contractor will replace cap or damaged irrigation systems if they are damaged as a result of our construction. Do we replace the water service line up to the house? We replace the city owned service line to the water meter and meter box. We will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace the water line from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home or business is conserved private plumbing. Repairs need to be done by a licensed plumber at the homeowner's expense. How does the temporary water line impact my water bill? Temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, a continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During winter months, however, the water must be continuously flowing to out the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. So in other words, keep your faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage while you are on temporary line is based on an average of the previous month's usage. <clears throat> what part of the sewer line is the, is the customer's responsibility? The city side of the line starts at the main in the street and goes to the customer's service clean out at the property line. The customer side of the service line goes from the sewer clean out at the property line to the house and includes all plumbing inside the house. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. <clears throat> if you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before we can connect your service to the new water line, we have to flush the line. The water flow from, the, from flushing the line will be continuous until the inspector gets the samples for that day. You will be connected to the new water main after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it is time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from tarping over the valve. Do not move the cones. Don't park over the cones and don't turn off the water valve. How will we know construction is starting? 
If you live in an area impacted by the construction, keep an eye on your front door for a door hanger from the city of Fort Worth. You will receive door hangers. The first will serve says construction starts in seven days. The second door hanger says construction starts tomorrow. The inspector will include his or her business card and contact information on the door hanger. Timeline. Construction is anticipated to start on November the 14th. The projected end date is the fall of 2023. Contractor expects to start at the intersection of Mockingbird Lane and Simondale Drive. Generally, the sewer main is installed first, then the water line is installed. Final phase includes replacing curb and gutter and caving with asphalt. When I, where can I get more information? Go to www.forwardtexas, all one word, dot gov, and type in the project number 103389 in the search bar on the home page. Colonial area water and sewer improvements will pop up. To get project updates, scroll down to the bottom of the project page and click on the subscribe to this page. The project map and the project summary slash frequency as frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? Emergencies and water main breaks, sewer backups 24 hours a day, 817 392 4477, and select option one. Water call, sir, call center, which is non emergency, is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and it's the same number, 817 392 4477, and it's also closed on city holidays. Or you can download the My Forward app from the App Store or Google Play. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, low water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Again, the contact information for this project is project manager Liam Condon, 817-392-6824, liam.condon at forwardtexas.gov, or our inspector, John Robinson, at 817-392-8452, john.robinson at forwardtexas.gov. Thank you, and have a nice evening. So we'll uh, thank you, Liam. We don't have any questions posted in the chat, so I am going to unmute you all. And if you have a question. Okay. Bill, do you have a question? Okay, uh, Mark Hinton, do you have anything? And we've got Mike Herman. Um, I missed the first part of this, but just curious, are, is Colonial's uh, restrooms on, on the course gonna tie into this new, this line or? No. Go ahead, Mike. I missed how, once this starts, how long is it going to take? Can you go back to that slide, Liam? It's starting on November the 14th, and it will be the fall of uh, 2023. Okay, it's almost a year. Yes, correct, yes. Hi, this is Bill Hester. I do have a question. Okay. Um, we're the last house on Mockingbird, um, kind of at the dead end, and as you guys, I'm sure, are aware it's a, a dead end street that doesn't have a turnaround cul-de-sac or anything like that. And 
there's a lot of colonial uh, maintenance traffic that comes through there. And so I'm just curious, we're gonna be able to easily back out of our driveway and get down the street and we only have one way to access our driveway and access Hartwood and, and the other streets. So, it, correct? Yeah, your access, ingress and egress will not be interrupted, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm sure you've worked with Colonial as all the, uh, in May, all the um, TV and security uh, trailers that park on Mockingbird to work out alternative arrangements. Yeah, we normally shut down for Colonial. Yeah, we're aware of the fact that there will be a lot of traffic on Mockingbird then. We have a call in user four. If you had a question, we've got two call in users. Okay. Well, while they're thinking about it, if they have a question, we will have a PDF of this PowerPoint posted on the project page. Uh, this is what Monday. We should be posted by Wednesday at the latest. We always we also create um, summary FAQs based on this PowerPoint. So if you just want to go on to the project page and download that and print it off, you can do that as well. And you've also got uh, thank you. You've got Liam's phone number and John Robinson is your inspector. Okay. So Bill Hester. Hey Sally. Mark Hinton. Mike Herman. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, just just one more question. I'm curious, and, and if you covered this, I missed up the first five minutes. When you all do this project, do you kind of take do it do it all at once, or do you do certain sections at a time and complete the whole section? I see you're starting at Simon Dale, and I'm just wondering, will all of Mockingbird be torn up, for lack of a better description, and it's all sort of done at once, or do you work sections at a time? We tend to do, um, as we say, if we come back and we do the, the restoration afterwards. So it's been up to now. We, um, okay, thank you. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions before we shut down the meeting? Unless you want to talk about the TCU football game. No, but, and will the, this meeting was recorded, right? It'll be out there on the project site too. Yes, um, there will be a video link to it. Uh, right. That will, that'll be probably the end of tomorrow before we can okay. get that posted. Okay. But just keep That's checking fine. back. If you haven't gotten it uh, and you can see the chat, the link to the project page is in the chat. Okay. If you want to copy that down. Uh, I'm not seeing that in the chat. Okay, it's probably it's the last message. You've got the welcome, you've got Liam's information, John's information, and then the link to the project. Can you see that? I see it says everyone. It says Sally, uh, yeah. Anthony, Bill, Chris, John, Keegan, and Keegan. Okay, you're looking at participants then. Sally, there, there's nothing posted to the chat. Oh, my mistake. It's posted, but it was posted internal. Actually, it says it's posted to everyone. I, I don't see anything in your chat. Okay, I will um, email this to the two neighborhood associations so that you have the information if you need it. Hey, Sally, would, yes, you, would you mind putting, would you mind, go frogs, by the way, would you mind putting that slide <laughs> up um, that just showed Liam's contact information and all that, you had it up just a second ago. Thank you. Yep, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, if that is it, then make sure you check the project page um, by Wednesday at the latest, and you've got Liam's contact information if you have any questions. And we appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>